Well, as you know, Londoners uh, can come from any part of the world. And after August 1974, tens of thousands arrived from Cyprus. The island had been invaded by Turkey. And the people who came built new and often successful lives. Olivia Dimitriadis has met one of them and the man who arrived as a boy. From the window, seeing warplanes being shot down and crashing into the ground, not very far from our flat. Just having that memory of, oh, someone's just died, um, really, really shook me up. I'm Baz. I came to London in August 1974, following the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. Six o'clock in the morning, he said, just arrange. We are going to Nicosia. You will get some clothing and we'll go to London. So we came. Myself, my mum, dad and my brother. We came to London basically because my parents felt it was unsafe to remain in Cyprus. As a nine-year-old boy coming from a war-torn country, arriving in London was quite a traumatic experience. I didn't know that much English and got whisked off to my uncle's flat um, in Ealing. Six months. Six months. It was only six months here, but actually feels like years. This house holds many fond and challenging memories, uh, trying to learn English in my first few months and also experiencing an English winter for the first time, that being 1974. My mum, being a hairdresser by trade, was trying to find a hairdresser shop. We were very fortunate to find one in Richmond and we moved to the house above it in March 1975. <laughs> what the hell? In the beginning, it took me a few years to start liking to live in London. I love London now. Yeah. London has provided me with um, the opportunity to grow both myself as a person, meet my wife here, and obviously settle and make a life for ourselves and our children. And although it was a tough time, what has happened since in the last 48 years, I can only feel blessed as part of a, a family that obviously came here as refugees.